and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 29th of January 2021, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. And what a week it has been here for silver. So silver prices today up 6% in a single session. And that, of course, has been the biggest one-day move we've seen for silver since August. This plays into all of the narrative that we've been discussing with you at the Gold and Silver Club about commodities moving into this super cycle as you move into 2021, particularly as we have Janet Yellen as Treasury Secretary. We, of course, also have the Joe Biden era here. Alongside that, we have trillions of stimulus, which is coming further confirmed by the FOMC statement on Wednesday too, which again showed that we are going to keep lower interest rates here for longer. We have plenty more accommodative monetary policy coming in the weeks and months ahead to help support the market. And overall, the narrative was fairly weak regarding the US economy. Of course, we've had US GDP figures come out today as well, which have essentially been the worst in 74 years. All of this has played into the slingshot move that we've seen higher today for silver. We discussed that in detail with you on also gold asset of the day that we've been accumulating positions on silver between 22 to 24 dollars per ounce four positions in fact at the moment those four trades are up over more than a thousand points of profit so just to give you monetary terms for that for every one lot that you would trade on silver being a thousand points in profit is a hundred thousand dollars of profit if you're trading at one lot every 10 lots that you would trade on silver is a million dollars of profit and that's just over four trades with a 6% move that we've seen over the course this week. So it's been fairly substantial. More interesting than that is the current narrative regarding silver, which has started to go viral on social media platforms. And this is regarding a potential short squeeze on SLV and silver, following on from the narrative from GameStop, where we've seen over a 1,700% increase to the upside, as many retail traders on different forums such as Reddit and Wall Street Bets have really taken to GameStop over the last few days, as many of you are aware of, and have now switched their attention to silver and SLV. And of course, we're not expecting that to be the catalyst here for a breakout on the metals. We didn't really need that to help any additional fuel to the fire here, but I know it's on a lot of people's radar at the moment, and we've been certainly sent that multiple times. There's some big players in the market who are keeping an eye on this because there is a massive sell short to be covered on silver. And if we start to see this breakout, take out, for example, the highs from today and start to make a move up to 28, then 30, then we're going to be breaking out to the highest levels in a year. And then, of course, if we can take out $30 per ounce, this is where silver could start to go parabolic and, of course, plays into the current super cycle that we're seeing at the moment on the commodities market. So you absolutely need to have silver on the radar at the moment after the 6% move today. The dollar today also broke back down and so did the gold-silver ratio. So we mentioned to you previously that this is a perfect scenario. What you want to see for further upside on the metals right now is the gold-to-silver ratio breaking back down. So it broke down to 69 to 1 today. You want to see a weak dollar and the precious metals catch a bid. Silver is leading the way. Platinum has been leading the way in recent weeks, breaking out to four-year highs. Copper prices broke out to eight-year highs. Oil prices broke out to 11-month highs. Now silver today had the biggest one-day move since August. It's all playing out, as we've discussed with you multiple times. You definitely don't want to miss out on this opportunity right now. And of course, in these current market conditions right now, it's so important to have more than one income stream. If you lose your one and single income stream, you're essentially left with zero, right? So you want to make sure that you've got multiple income streams, that you are making sure that you are recession-proof moving forward. And trading is no longer really a nice-to-have skill. It's a necessity in today's environment where we have continued global restrictions, where we know in the short term, this is not going to go away. And it's a perfect opportunity for you as we're going to see trillions of additional quantitative easing and money printing around the world in the weeks and months and years to come here to support the global economies that have been affected by the pandemic. This is ultimately going to provide that catalyst for the commodity super cycle that you do not want to miss out on. But again, it does all come down to timing. Unfortunately, a lot of retail traders, they continue to panic sell, get liquidated. The sentiment has been really negative over the last few weeks here for the metals, especially at the start of this week and last week. So traders 
Bitcoin is a throw in the towel, just as silver is about to have a 6% move to the upside. They liquidate, expecting lower prices, or worse still, they're using outdated technical strategies. They go for a sell short, just as silver slingshots higher. As many of you know, we've continued to talk you through the stacking process that we're utilizing with the metals. Of course, always being nimble with that, making sure when you have these big breakouts that you do take some profit, reload at the lows, and this provides you a fantastic opportunity for trading. And trading the right way, you do not want to be using gimmicky, outdated indicators or technical strategies, which quite frankly, do not work in today's market conditions. If you find that you keep buying at the top or selling at the low, it's likely because you're using outdated technical strategies. That's why it's so important that you're utilizing the research-driven approach to the market. You're trading the same way that the professionals do, utilizing the same data, having access to the same market intelligence and research. Having that awareness of key liquidity zones, capital flows in the market, marrying that up, of course, with the cycles that we see day to day, week to week, month to month, utilizing seasonality, macroeconomics, key liquidity zones, and having awareness of major drivers in the market that help you with your timing to get into trades and also banking those profits regularly too. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research-driven approach to the market, there is an opportunity for you to do so, and join our professional mentorship program. Just click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to become a member of the Gold and Silver Club.